In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience with the M1 Mac Mini, and also a little bit of a behind the scenes about my own content creation system. I use that term lightly. It's not quite a system yet, but it's a system setup. This is not a review video. There's loads of those online already. This is more initial thoughts. I'm just about to turn on the new Mac Mini, which I just got secondhand. Um, it is a 2020, uh, eight gig, uh, 256 gigs of storage in it. And yeah, I'm gonna see how it performs, which is, it's gonna outperform my uh, 2013 MacBook Pro that I've been using for the past 10 years um, and it's only recently since I started shooting in 4k video and trying to do a lot more audio production that the computer has started to slow down a little bit so the Mac mini was bought to see if I can increase the performance of creative output here are all the inputs we have um, Ethernet 2 Thunderbolt 3s HDMI and two USB, USB 3, I think. And, and that is it. All the glory of this is this new M1 chip that is in here and hopefully going to make my dancing beach ball of doom a thing of the past. It turned on with quite a satisfying badum Apple sound, startup sound. Mouse took a minute. But it's working. Bluetooth keyboard would not connect. Turn it off. Turn it on again. Not happy Apple. Cool sound though. Today is Monday the 4th of April and yeah a little update on where everything is. Uh, as you can see everything is upside down here. I'm still in the process of Moving from this machine, which is my 2013 MacBook Pro to this new 2021 Mac Mini M1 and initial startup the Bluetooth keyboard didn't connect in the initial setup so I had to actually had to borrow a keyboard so strike one for Apple and uh, yeah, I'm still also waiting on delivery of a Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter which will allow my Apollo Twin to talk to my Mac Mini and get my audio setup running. Yeah, there's no first impressions other than setup was a little bit awkward. I haven't been able to test its legs yet. Yeah, stuff arrived. This is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting a week for this. And this is the crux of the problem with the Mac Mini, or the benefit of the Mac Mini, depending on how you want to look at it. The Mac Mini is affordable if you have all your peripheries and all the extra bits and pieces that you need to get it going already supplied. Otherwise, you are gonna spend a lot more money than it may end up saving you, so. Be warned. Uh, I can't even get the box up. Here it is. The most innocuous looking device of all time. This should mean that my interface is now talking to my Mac Mini. That's it. It uh, took a little bit of jiggery pokery around the Universal Audio website, but I am now set for audio on uh, the new system. I'm back again and today marks the day where everything's done. One exception. This is my little 4K Zoom Q2N. Uh, it's got 
condenser mic on it so it's going to be handy for on the fly shooting I forgot to order a micro SD card come along with it So, as anybody knows, if you change up your system or your workflow or your process, there's always that in-between learning curve where a week or two goes by where some things are getting done and then other things just get pushed back because you're still in changeover mode. So, for example, I was still editing podcasts and things on the MacBook because I needed this dongle adapter thing for the Mac Mini before I could use any of my audio gear and start recording. But we're now fully set up. So that's it. It's a couple of couple of weeks later. It's about a month. All in all it's about a month since um, I started making the videos that will be in this video and I am currently doing the edit um, here on the new Mac Mini and so far it's handling the 4K footage really really well. I've also been able to put uh, my audio libraries on and there has been no latency or any uh, spinning beach balls of doom when I'm running Final Cut Pro. Um, I'm not a massive heavy user of plugins in general. Um, I don't do very huge productions, so I'm not expecting there to be any issues at all there, um, even if I do need to run any big ones. But overall thoughts is it's a seamless upgrade, um, bar the few peripheral problems, which I've talked about in the previous clips. Uh, it's been it's been really easy to change over and I think from a creation point of view it just makes life very very easy to um, produce and create things and that is my philosophy and what I want more of with this channel is to be more productive in creation. I can do my podcast, I can do a YouTube channel, I can do audio all in the one place and all relatively easy and straightforward uh, and that's what I wanted and I think the Mac Mini for that purpose is going to serve me really really well. Thanks so much for watching the video hope you got something out of it if you did enjoy it please consider dropping a comment or a like or a subscribe any of these would be really really helpful in getting my channel off the ground because it's brand new and if you are new here, welcome, welcome. I hope to see you soon.